Hi folks, Larry Wingett here, back with another episode of Ask Larry Anything, the YouTube series where you can ask Larry Wingett, that's me. Anything in the world you'd like to know and I would be happy to give your question my best shot. All you have to do is write me at info at LarryWingett.com. Let's get right to today's question. I like this one. Larry, you've just been elected President of the United States. What are the top three things that you would do to get this once great country back on track. Listen, I have a handful of things here. You can pick the three you like the best. Any of these would have a major impact, but it's going to take me more than three to tell you everything I would do immediately to get things back on track. I also will be looking uh, at my notes from time to time and not staring straight into the camera like I usually do when I'm talking to you on the Ask Larry Anything because I want to make sure I get all these things included. Number one, what I would do though is something I've talked about recently in these videos and on national television, I would impose a 10% cut across the board on all government spending. Every single department, nobody would be exempt. There is plenty of fat in government. It would not be hard to find 10% uh, to cut in every single department with no change in services. So that would not be a very tough thing for them to be able to do, uh, but I'd give them 30 days to do it. Second thing I would do is I would repeal Obamacare. Uh, there are a couple of good things in Obamacare, though, that I would keep. Things that actually had bipartisan support prior to the passage of this massive, massive bill that's costing America jobs. It, it's too, way too complicated. It's impeding the growth of small business. Lots of negatives. But the few good things that were good... Tort reform, buying insurance across state lines, pre-existing conditions, a few other things. Everybody agreed on those. We should keep those things in there, but we got to get rid of Obamacare. Number three, I would incentivize businesses to grow and expand and create and manufacture and hire. I, as president, I would do anything in the world. I would bend over backwards to make sure that businesses could grow and put people back to work. We could solve a whole lot of problems by simply putting people back to work. We have way too many people unemployed right now, and government has not been nice to business. Some of you are going to say, yeah, you can be nice to business as long as we keep it all here in the good old USA. No uh, putting any money overseas and so forth. First of all, if it's free market, folks. If they can compete, they ought to get the dollars. They ought to get the jobs. We've got to learn to compete again on an international level. And that means that a lot of Americans are going to have to suck it up and go to work and do things they don't love or don't feel great about or that they're overqualified for because we need more people working here inside our country. Next. Uh, I, you've got to fix the border and illegal immigrant issue. Now, that's a tough one, I know. And Here's what I would do. There's got to be a path to citizenship for the people who are already here. They've raised families here. They're good, contributing members of society. There are a lot of good people here. Uh, we've got to give them a path to citizenship immediately. We've got to create a worker program to allow people who want to come into this country legally and work here uh, to do so. Uh, they also have to pay taxes on the money earned, and those businesses uh, who hire them are not going to get by with hiring illegals like in the past, paying them under the, under the table, no one reporting it, no one getting any of that tax money. So put together a worker program, they pay taxes on the income, and the employers pay taxes on that labor. The other thing that you have to do is, uh, and this is going to bother a lot of folks, you've got to build a wall. And it's got to be a wall that is uh, defendable along our southern borders. There are people who do not respect our country, will not respect these rules, which are going to be um, uh, very fair to uh, people who want to come here and work and so forth. But the people who don't respect that, they don't get to come in. And by the way, if you're here and you've ever create, uh, committed a felony, you're gone forever. You ain't coming back, folks. That's the way it works. You don't get to be here illegally and perform illegal acts against our society. You don't get to do that, you're out. We've got to, though, manage our immigration and have total immigration reform. The next thing I'd do is I'd go on a witch hunt like it had never been seen before. This is kind of one that uh, just makes me happy to talk about. Uh, campaign finance reform, I would do away with all PACs. Uh, I would uh, stop paying congressmen forever. That is stupid. You, you take a job for couple of years and you get your salary forever, you get your insurance and hospitalization and all that stuff forever, nah, that ain't how it's going to work. You get a job, two, year, uh, two term limits, got to impose term limits, you get to stay for two terms, then you go back into the workforce. 
sort of the way it used to be when we founded this country. It wasn't a forever job. You don't get to be a career politician. So you've got to have campaign finance reform, do away with PACs. You've got to impose the same laws on Congress that they impose on all of us. Uh, so they got to live by the same rules that they create. And here's a big one. They've got to, I, I would force anybody in Congress to go back and hold town hall meetings in the area so they're, uh, where they're from, where they're elected, so they would actually have to talk to their constituents. Then, when they came back to Washington, they would have to vote on every single bill that was put before them. They only got one job, folks, and that's to represent the constituency and to vote on the bills that affect that constituency. So you'll vote on everything. You miss a vote, you're fired! You get to go back and somebody else gets to step up. And the other thing I would do is I would make sure that um, your voting record on every single vote, because by the way, you're going to vote on everything, it's your job, is going to be posted at the local post office where you are elected from. It will go in every local newspaper, and it will be put in an email to everybody that signs up for it. So everybody in your area, your constituency, knows what you are doing, knows what you're voting for, and they can hold you accountable. We need transparency and accountability with our politicians. Last is this, uh, you got to go to work on entitlements. Social Security is a good place to start. By the way, uh, Social Security, if you paid into it, then it's not an entitlement. It's your money. I'm talking about all those people who never contributed a thing and yet receive the money. So you got to go after Social Security, you got to go after welfare and unemployment benefits, all those other programs that truly are nothing but handouts. You know, we shouldn't be giving away handouts. Everybody gets hurt from time to time, and everybody needs a helping hand from time to time, but those things must have time limits. You don't get to stay on that crap forever. And so if you do not contribute, if you're not willing to take care of yourself, we will help you for a very short period of time, but at some point, you are responsible for taking care of yourself. You see, here's the problem. We have to change the entire mindset of everyone in our country from a mindset uh, of government dependency and other dependency to total self-reliance. We need to know that we are responsible for our own lives. That's going to be changing the mindset of people. I've given you six ideas here that I would implement if uh, I were the President of the United States. I hope you found a couple in there you like. Uh, I do appreciate the question. Thank you so much. Again, if you have a question, write me at info at